Good morning and welcome back to another vlog. If you usually watch the tutorials and have randomly clicked on this vlog, hello, my name is Tracy and I do cake tutorials every Tuesday and vlogs just like this every other Thursday which are behind the scenes. Stuff that I buy for cakes, what I'm working on, what plans I've got and other random life stuff. If you can hear random little ghosties in the background, I have another one of those videos from the last vlog playing on the TV. If you didn't see the last vlog, I have a channel playing on my TV called Autumn Cozy that do ambient sounds of crackling fires and candles and leaves. And I have a spooky Halloween house on at the minute, which has little ghosties on it. I'm just waiting for my computer to set up for the second time this morning. It's only eight o'clock in the morning. My little pen tablet will not work with it. I have to keep restarting it. And I'm getting so tired of my computer chair now. It has been broken for months and I really need to replace it. It's one of those um, bucket style ones, the grey bucket ones from Ikea. That's my computer starting back up. It's actually made out of polystyrene, if you didn't know, if you were thinking of getting one. If you decide to sit on it like I do with like one leg folded under the other, you might accidentally break this chair and then it will do this every time you sit on it. That is the polystyrene that's completely snapped and I've got a cushion propped on it because I keep falling down the hole in the chair. <laughs> I really need a new one because it's so annoying now. Just sign in again. Third time lucky. Oh, I've just noticed you can see those boxes there in the background. I can tell you what those are this week. I've been keeping them a secret um, in the forum and on the vlogs for a long time. But I am sending them out this week, which means by the time this vlog goes up, a lot of the people will already have received them through the post. So I will do that later on. Um, for now, I usually catch you up on what you missed last week. So I had this cute Eensy Weensy spider cake. You've probably already seen this now if I've managed to edit it because it's Monday and I haven't edited it yet. It's just really nice to go back to basics and do some nursery rhymes. Our first cake was like an old McDonald. It was a bit of a mixture of old McDonald and five bunnies sleeping. Um, so our second cake is Incy Wincy Spider. But yeah, it's just really nice to not have to do Peppa Pig or Elsa or something. You can make Incy Wincy Spider however you like. And obviously as a spider you can't just start making butterflies. But what I mean is you can make the spider look however you want the spider to look rather than it having to look like Peppa Pig. So it's nice to have that little bit of creative freedom. And I also had a peach fairy cake. That is actually with me now. It's being collected later on today. I will show you that. Might be a little bit dark in this box, so I'll pop a picture on if it is. But my brief for this was literally a pale peach cake with butterflies, fairies and toadstools. That was my brief and this is what I came up with for a first birthday. This was originally booked for the weekend but then got moved to tomorrow so I worked on this one on Saturday and um, managed to get it finished so this one's going tonight. Here is what I've got on my TV. A little ghosty house. Little ghosties in the trees. And I had a week full of deliveries, so the doorbell has never rang so much. First, um, we weren't supposed to be getting this till today, but we got it last week, was a massive plant. It wouldn't stand upright in the house, so I had to drag it through to the conservatory just to stand the box up. We decided to get a massive fake plant because we cannot keep any real plants whatsoever. We only had one real one in the house and it was a little palm from Ikea where this one is currently being put up. One of the main sticks, stems, whatever you want to call it, has died off leaving like the little side stem with only three leaves on it. So it's looking very bare, very brown, very dead. It is still, still a little bit alive so we've just moved it to another corner in the conservatory. Uh, but we decided to just get a fake one because we just cannot keep real plants. All the plants now in the house are fake. It's massive, it's 190 centimetres tall, but at least it will stay like that. It will stay green, it won't go brown, it's not going to shed any leaves. So we are 
super happy with this at the minute. I will show you our original dead palm later on. Then I had a delivery of my usual cake stuff. It has only arrived in one box though, so I do have half of my order missing, which I'm sure will arrive today or tomorrow. Nothing exciting, just the usual icing, coloured icing, boards and gel colours. I have a chocolate order arriving this week. Yes, another one, don't get me started, I'm so annoyed. My custom stamps arrived, so I ordered some custom stamps for my rad slabs. Um, it makes it easier than stamping out each individual letter when, when it's a large message. So I have my Christmas stamps arrive, and then the guys over in the Cherry Brigade forum were voting for a quote to put on a Lion King slab. Um, I won't tell you what they chose yet, but I have the stamp for it, and I'm sure that will come out when I get round to it. That's what I'm going to do this morning, actually. I'm going to jump onto the forum and see what these guys have been chatting about before I do some editing. But if you don't know what the forum is, I'll leave the video linked below. If you want to come over and join us, please do. I do only have two cherry spots left. So cherry is the top tier where you get cherry mail sent to you. Um, and I do ha only have two slots left before I completely cap it so I can keep up. Otherwise, I'd have several of those boxes everywhere. So I'm going to cap it. That's it. Two spots left. However, you can join any of the tiers below that. They've started on their cake challenge. We've been voting. We've been chatting. And I'm going to do another podcast for that this week. So I need to film that. But right now, I've got some editing to do. I need to get this Incy Wincy Spider tutorial done. And then I'll chat to you a bit later on because I went full on rage this weekend, <laughs> pulling things out of cupboards. Um, I need longer to explain that to you though. So let me do some editing and I'll catch you up in a bit. It's now Tuesday. Um, I do have a tiny amount of time this morning to explain what I was talking about yesterday. So the reason I had rage at the weekend is because I am running out of room. I make cakes, I have rad slabs, planners, pins, stencils, cutters, and I am running out of places to put stuff and it's getting on my nerves. So I will just have a quick whiz round so you can kind of see what I'm dealing with. This is my living room. Um, all these cupboards are cake stuff in the living room. So this used to have artificial flowers in it and there's still some artificial flowers at the top but you can see it is now covered in sweets. A lot of people will say that's not a bad thing. It's like instant pick and mix for movie nights. Uh, but it's actually all rad slab stock for all different types of slabs. So we've got pizza slices for the cowabunga slabs, bananas for the minions, ice creams for the upside down. So it gives you an idea we have to have different sweets for different slabs. That isn't even all of it. Cupboard below is more sweets. These are planners boxed ready to go. These are all stickers. So I have allergen stickers. Cherry mail stickers, rad slab box stickers, stock rad slabs. These came in handy. I managed to pick up like chocolate from Aldi. Well, I don't buy my chocolate from Aldi. I just empty their crates. <laughs> but these actually came in really handy for holding rad slabs. So these are the only ones I have in stock at the minute. So these are things like cowabungas that aren't personalised or sprinkle steins that aren't personalised. This one down here is where I used to keep my accounts. Accounts are now here and they're going to have to go upstairs. This is full of other stock bunting, other cake tools I haven't even listed yet, postal jiffy bags. That is full of pin badges. These are all Cherry Brigade cherry mail items. This isn't too bad because this is temporary. This is all going this week so they all need fastening up. I will show you what's in those in a second. This cupboard is where I used to keep cake orders while they were waiting to go. It's now full of more packing stuff so these are all rad slab boxes ready to go. And um, There's some sneaky Christmas boxes there with stickers on. The new designs. These are the seven inch pizza boxes that these go in to post. This is full of chocolate for the Augustus Gloop. So munchies, dime bars, chocolate shapes, chocolate spoons, chocolate eggos. This one is another packing cupboard. So I've got all my yellow shredded paper. I've got red shredded paper ready for Christmas ones. Made up postal boxes ready to go. Stencils that are in the shop. 
tissue paper, pink wrapping paper, bubble wrap. And this is all just in my front room. Let's just ignore yet another box on the floor. Um, this is full of actual living room stuff. Um, no, I tell a lie, my lighting setup is in this cupboard. These are all like Xbox controllers, games, DVDs, leads, chargers, candle stash, wax melt stash, sewing machine and sewing bits. These drawers are all business stuff. These are more invoices, order forms, orders, accounts, printing paper, SD cards, cameras, all business stuff. Then we come through to the hallway. <laughs> we have cake boxes for orders. So we have single tier boxes, wedding cake size boxes. These are another 30 kilos of chocolate that has just arrived this morning. Nowhere to put it. Kitchen cupboards full of cake stuff. I have eight of these cupboards full of cake stuff and four drawers full of cake stuff. This is the corner of my kitchen, which is now full of rad slab signs, ready to make into rad slabs. Molds, aero bars, sprinkles. What's this? Icing, sugar paste. These are all icing cutters, molds. Through to the conservatory. This is the new plant. We picked this up from B&M. It nicely matches. We've got pink on the top and wicker on the bottom because the walls are pink and a lot of the stuff in the conservatory is wicker. I have to excuse all the leaves on the floor. They've all blown in from opening the door. This is my ring light. Yes, it can be taken down and stored away, but I use it that often that it's just ridiculous to keep putting it down and getting it back up. So this just lives here in the conservatory, which is really annoying. All the cake dummies are out on display because there's nowhere to put these. They're all slowly just melting and getting dustier and dustier by the day. This is full of cake mats, cake tub, storage tubs. This is now absolutely crammed full of artificial flowers because they've come from the living room. In here are rad pack, flat pack rad slab boxes. So these are new boxes for a new product that's not even out yet. These are the postal boxes for the new product that's not out yet. Green and red rad slab Christmas boxes, blue and pink ones. It's just getting a little bit crazy because there's cake stuff spread over several rooms in every drawer and it's now just spilling over into being left out on the floor in the hallway. This also arrived this morning. This is the rest of my cake stuff order that needs to put in away. Lives in the kitchen. So yeah, I am my own worst enemy. I'm whinging about it and it's my fault. It's my fault. There's so much stuff. Wedding cakes have obviously been put on hold. If I was still doing wedding cakes, I don't think I would be doing as many rad slabs or shop items, so therefore I wouldn't need all the sweets and all the chocolate and all the boxes, so there'd be more room. But we're not doing wedding cakes because we have to wait until next year at least for those. Filled every possible cupboard space. Apart from actually ripping the entire downstairs toilet out and putting racking in there to store stuff, there is no other options. I have a shed outside that's full of lawnmower stuff power tools, wood, the dryers in there. The only other option is to build another shed, but there's limited room. I might as well just show you that. There is our shed. And um, this is a whole patio that we have built last year. I don't even know when this was done, but basically it, went, it all went wrong. So the only place for another shed now is down this fence here. So if we move this plant pot and these two chairs, which don't usually live there, I only have this little bit of run there to put like a long slim shed because um, obviously the step to go out the doors is right here so we don't want it to come out too far so that's an option but i'm just having an absolute rant just thought i would rant away to you about all that but something's got to give there's just too much stuff and i don't know the answer but in happier news let's share what is in these cherry mail boxes just grab two so we have an assortment of different colours but this is what I've been working on and I could only make one to two a day because of the amount of time they took to set and unmould because I only have one mould I made the mould myself I've had the mould for a couple of years now and I did promise in a past tutorial that the chocolate mo that the chocolate skulls were coming and they never did um, but these are solid white chocolate that have been coloured so this one is a yellow skull 
and they're packaged up with their allergen stickers on the bottom. They do come as an option to be gift box, which is what those little pink ones were. And then it comes with some sprinkletti pastel chocolate balls because all the skulls are different shades of pastel. You've got yellow, pink, blue, uh, lilac. So I thought these would be really good to make a cake with. Because I have so many cherries, I actually cleaned everybody out of these sprinkles. Um, I bought all the stock that even the company who makes these, I, <laughs> I ordered them all um, and there wasn't enough. So then, so some people are going to get this sprinkle mix, which is called unicorn poop. So this one is blue, pink, white and silver balls as opposed to all pastel colours. So some people are going to get these and some people are going to get these but I thought together they could make a pretty cool cake so like this yellow one I'm already thinking it's like a queen bee making it yellow themed with maybe honey dripping down its head and a massive bee figure on it. In this one we have a pink skull Maybe put an ice cream cone on its head so it looked like a pink drippy ice cream cake. There's so many different ways that you could use these skulls. So what my Cherry Brigade are going to be receiving in the post this week. So yeah, that is very exciting. I still do actually have three more skulls to make. One currently in the mould, but I'm almost there with it now. I'm almost caught up. And here they all are. Here is my... Um, packing paper that I use from all that cake stuff paper as you've seen in a previous vlog. I hand shredded it all with some scissors to repurpose as the packaging so I'm going to put some paper in there so it doesn't they don't get bashed about but yeah we have a box full of these ready to go. Oh I'm just excited to see what they think. I hope they like them. I hope they get to use them create something with them. I've already started work on November and December's boxes. I've rambled on enough now, I've had a right good rant. I need to go and get some more work done. Here are this week's Rad Slabs being packaged up to go to the post office today. We have an Augustus Gloop, a white chocolate spooky sprinkle stein, a milk chocolate spooky sprinkle stein. That is so hard to say. A upside down, another upside down and a cowabunga. So these just need all stickering up on the back, putting into boxes and sent to the post office. I do have a sneaky little peek for you today. This is one of the new Christmas designs. It is of course based on the Grinch, but it is a chocolate mint flavoured slab. So the base is milk chocolate and then we've got mint arrow balls, a mint candy cane, mint arrow pieces and crispy mint crystals on them with of course the Grinch and it comes in a special green Grinch rod slab box. Um, these are going to be limited, I think I actually only have 12 of these at the minute. But I'm going to photograph this and get this up online. The guys in the forum have already had a, a quick sneaky peek at this. So yeah, two more designs to go I think for Christmas. <laughs> vlog has gone up late. It is now Friday. I am filming this on the day this has been uploaded. In the last clip you listen to me putting together two dummies. I Over the weekend I created a dummy cake for a wedding shoot that was supposed to happen on Sunday but that got cancelled. I did film it for a tutorial but obviously I can't put the tutorial up until the shoot has been done. So that means Tuesday there's no tutorial for Tuesday either. Just had a few curveballs been thrown which is why I haven't filmed anything, the vlog hasn't gone up on time, I don't have a tutorial for Tuesday. I haven't vlogged anything because Kai has been ill, he's been off school, flu-like symptoms, not Covid. 
So he's been at home. I've been working on rad slabs. There's stuff, there's still new designs that I'm working on, which I can't show you yet because they don't launch until the 1st of November. So if you want a little advance warning, they're going to go up live in the shop on the 1st of November, roughly around four o'clock. Hopefully by then I'll have a total of five designs. I just can't stop making them. But that's what I've been doing, just making lots of rad slabs, trying to get ahead with the Christmas ones, also still fulfilling the Halloween ones. Um, I'm going to stop those on Tuesday, so if you want one for Halloween, please do go and grab one. But after Tuesday, they'll be removed from the shop and replaced with Christmas ones on the first. So yeah, didn't film anything, but there was nothing to film. I needed to hop on and give the vlog an ending. So yeah, hopefully we can get back to a bit of normality in the next couple of weeks so I can get a tutorial ready for you and the vlog should go up on time in a couple of weeks. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.